ما ما يقدر طب اوكي ليت اس ستارت ذا كلاس توداي ان شاء الله وي ويل ستارت ان سكشن 1.2 اوف تشابتر 1 طبعا راح يكون عندنا التشابتر 1 و2 اند 3 اند 4 ار ذا ديفرنشال ايكويشن اند ذير ابلكيشنز اللي هي الديفرنشال ايكويشن المعادلات التفاضليه وتطبيقاتها طيب الان آه, راح نبدا باول سكشن اللي هو نتعرف على مفهوم the concept of the differential equation in general and how we can classify the differential equations uh, then the next section uh, was the meaning of the solution of differential equation in general and how we check whether it is a solution or not a solution for my differential equation طيب uh, خلينا نبدا الان <coughs> نبدا ب section 1.1 انا فاتح 1.2 1.1 نبدا الان في section 1.1 which is the introduction to differential equation definition terminology طيب شوفوا كيف هلا in general in general what's the meaning equation in math before we start the differential equation الان الإكويشن in math in math is a mathematical expression <coughs> with two sides and in the middle of these two sides there is the equality sign this is called equation For example, when we see that x minus 5 is equal 0, this is a linear equation. Now, to solve this one here, you can, it is a very trivial that x is equal 5 by taking minus 5 to the other, uh, to the other one. Elam, <coughs> this is, what's the meaning equation? Now, what's the meaning differential equation? Differential equation. The differential equation, which is the equation containing the derivatives of one or more dependent variable with respect to one or more independent variable. It's said to be differential equation by, uh, and uh, abbreviated by DE. So it is an equation containing the derivative of one or more dependent variable with respect to one more or, or one or more uh, independent variable what's the meaning first of all dependent variable when we say that y is equal x square here an x is called independent variable Well, y is called dependent variable. Y is called the dependent variable. Dependent variable. All right. Why it is called y the dependent variable because when you take x is equal to you will get y is equal four that means the value of y <coughs> the value of y depends on the value or the values of x that's why it is called dependent variable So go back to the differential equation again. So a differential equation is an equation containing a derivative of one or more dependent variable with respect to one or more independent variables. For example, if we say that dy by dx minus e to the power x is equal zero. This is differential equation. 
because it is originally an, e an, an equation and containing derivatives. It is an equation and containing derivatives. Also, if we say that d square u by dx plus d square u by dy is equal zero. This is differential equation, but here I have partial derivative. So that is called partial differential equation because it has a partial derivative. Here, the function u is a function of two variables, u of x, y, which is those two variables, x and y. Okay? Also, we could say that d square y divided by dx square plus y dy by dx is equal sine x. Also, this is differential equation. It has a derivatives, but it has here first derivative and it have a second derivative for the same dependent variable, y. And when we say that dy by dx, ly is dependent variable, while x is independent variable. Mm -hmm. Number four, for example, if we, if we say that u sub x, x plus u sub x, y is equal zero. This one here implies that du by d square u by dx square partially plus d u uh, by d y dx is equal zero. Hello. When you study partial derivative in calculus three, the partial derivative in calculus three, when we say that, of course, uh, here d square u d by dy the du by dx it means equal d square u by dy dx but this one here also is means this means you have to derive the u sub x again with respect to y which means u x y i mean you have to realize the reverse of the variables of course we will do this one uh, 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 later on today in more details so now it's a clear what's the meaning differential equation differential equation and we can classify the differential equation by two three classifications the first one by type The second one by order, then by linearity. We will discuss this in details for each classification with examples. And the classification by type. Here the differential equation, either it will be ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. If the differential equation contains only ordinary derivatives, ordinary derivatives of one or more function with respect to a single independent variable, it's said to be ordinary differential equation, ODE. But if the equation involving only partial derivatives, only partial derivatives of one or more functions of two or more independent variables, then this is called partial differential equations. Type. For example, if we say that y triple prime minus 2y prime plus xy is equal zero, 
this is ordinary differential equations because all the derivatives are ordinary derivatives. So there is no partial derivatives. If we say dy squared, على dx squared minus 3x dy by dx is equal e to the power x. Also, this is contains only ordinary derivatives. So this is ODE, ordinary differential equations. Number three, if we say that u sub x x plus u sub y y plus u sub z z is equal zero. All of these sub are a partial differential. What we tell you, the equation it becomes partial differential equation. Number four. If we square d square u, dx square to be 4 du by dt, this is also partial differential equations. This is also partial differential equations. So it's depend on whether I have a partial derivative or ordinary derivative. So a type will be classified either. ODE or PDE, partial differential or ordinary differential. U sub XX. Have you studied calculus 3 before? U sub XX, it means D square U a la DX square partially. U sub y y is equal d square u على dy square. U sub x y it means d على d y of d u by d x. All of them partially. D or u. Y X it means D by D X for D U by D Y. Okay. You are taking calculus of three now. All right. I think uh, in chapter 14, section, uh, you remember section 14.5, 14.4, you will study the partial differential equation, partial differential or partial derivatives in general in calculus 3. Anyway, Elan, let us go to the classification of the order. What's the meaning order or how we can classify the order of the differential equation? In order of the differential equation, either ordinary or the partial differential equation, is the highest derivative in that equation. It is the highest derivative in my equation, so it is the highest derivative in my equation. In M, number one, for example, y triple prime minus 3xy y prime is equal zero now what's the order of this differential equation it is third order third order because the highest derivative is three for example y double prime minus three x py prime to the power 10 is equal zero here is the highest derivative. So have a look here. I do not care about this power. I'm taking care about of the derivatives. So it is second order differential equation. Also, take this example. D4y على dx4 minus dy على dx uh, is equal e x. This is fourth order. 
number four y fifth derivative minus three y double prime to the power six is equal y I'll have a look here just to remind you here when we say that y and inside the brackets five it means the fifth derivative of y with respect x but y to the power five without brackets it is power a normal power now i do not care about this power i'm taking care about the order how much or the highest derivative so this is fifth order it is fifth order uh, also number five take this example d the power th uh, cube u على d x q plus d square u على d y square plus d u على d x is equal zero now what's the order this is a partial differential equation and what's the order here it is third order it is third order is it clear now how we can classify the order first order second order third order which is depend on the highest derivative in my differential equation okay Hello. Any nth order of differential equation can be written as a general form, which is a relation between the independent variable y and the dependent variable y and between the derivatives. It is a relation between the dependent variable, independent variable, and the order, the derivatives of any order. Yani, for example, for example, if I said y double prime e to the power y prime times a minus sine y triple prime z y is equal to zero. It is a relation here between between. Let us to do this one x y. It is a relation here between the independent variable x and the dependent y and the derivatives. Ilan. <clears throat> of course, sometimes you can write dy by dx is a function or a relation between x and y. How? Like this one. If I say that, dy by dx plus y plus x is equal ex. So you can write dy by dx in one side, so that becomes ex minus y minus x. So here is the function of x, y, or the relation between x and y given by ex minus y minus x. A second order, it will be the relation between x, y, and y prime. Like what? d square y, ala d x square, plus x dy by dx, plus y is equal sine x, for example. If you take those to the other side and leave dy square y, it becomes d square y, b dx squared is equal sin lx minus x dy على dx 
minus y. Mm -hmm. And then here, this relation between x, y prime, and y, which is what the, uh, what I mean here, the relation between x, y, and y prime. Tabilan, a classification by linearity. What's the meaning linear, by the way? In math, in calculus one, what do we mean by linear equation? In linear, it means what? Power one. That's what the meaning linear in, in general in math. But the answer that the functional equation, it will be called linear if it can be written in the form a n of x times the y, the nth order, plus another coefficient with respect x times uh the order of n minus one and so on you will continue until you arrive a naught of x y is equal gx Ilan, to classify it is linear or not you have to be careful about a few things the first thing those coefficients here a1x a2x a3x and anx a naught x it should be Either a constant, a constant, or a function with the same independent variable x. Shafin, with respect x, 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 x. Which is the same here, independent variable of this function gx. The second thing. You have to make sure that the power of any derivative and y, it should be 1. The power for any derivative and y, it should be 1. Okay? The derivative, the power of y and all the other derivatives should be the power 1. That's why it is called, in this case, you can call it is linear. خلينا نشوف some examples. خلينا نشوف هلا. بيقول لي لو حكينا المثال التالي. 3x square y double prime minus 5x y prime plus 7y is equal e to the power x square. Now you have to check the two conditions. بدنا نتأكد من all the coefficients are with respect either constant or with respect to the same variable of this function e to the power x square also the power of y w prime and y prime and y all of them they have a power one so it is linear equation so it is a linear equation Okay, is it clear this one? Type. Number two, take this example. Jubal Mithal Hada. 3x square y triple prime minus 5x y prime plus 7 square root of y is equal 0. Land check. All the coefficients are with respect either x or a constant. So that's the first condition is okay. Power of y, y uh, triple prime is 1. Y prime is 1. But the power of y is half. So this one is not linear. Why? 
because power of y is not one here, it is half. Number three, y if you y double prime minus y prime plus y is e to the power x. Let's see how. The coefficient here constant, constant, but here the coefficient y. The coefficient here y show that it is nonlinear. Because it should be the coefficient here with respect x, the coefficient of y double prime. Number four, y triple prime minus y prime plus y is equal sine x. All the coefficients are constants. And the power of y and all the derivatives one, so it is linear it is linear طيب الان y triple prime minus 2y prime plus sine of y is equal to 0 here is it linear this one or non-linear? Meaning only on a linear or not linear? Sure, I shabab. Why? It is not linear because here we have sine of y. It should be sine of x. So this is non-linear. That's why. Mm -hmm. Is it clear now how you can classify whether it is linear or non-linear? واضح الآن كيف أنا ممكن أصنف إنها linear ولا مش linear? طيب any question الان في عندنا two important types of linear equation with first order linear equation which is a1x times dy by dx plus a0x times y is equal gx or this is can be written a1x py prime plus a0x py is equal gx Second order, it is a2x d square y by dx square plus a1x dy by dx plus a naught xy is equal gx. Or this is can be written as a2x y double prime plus a1x y prime a naught x py uh, is equal gx. Okay. Right. Now, let us to see what's the meaning solution of the differential equation. What's the meaning? Solution. Solution of differential equation if any function y is equal file x defined on an interval and possess an n derivatives. If you substitution in your differential equation becomes the right hand side is equal as the left hand side then this is called the solution i mean the function y is equal phi x is a solution of your differential equation if you substitute it in the right hand side and the left hand side in your equation that becomes 
both sides are equal. Let us to see this one here. We will verify that this function y is equal 1 by 16 x to the power 4 is a solution of the differential equation. Hello, y is equal 1 by 16 x to the power 4. Okay. And what I need here in my differential equation to substitute, I have to substitute y here. And also I need dy by dx. So you have to find dy by dx because you need it in your equation. Becomes 4 by 16 x to the power 3. Only here 1 by 4 x to the power 3. Elan, a left hand side, a left hand side, 1 by 4 x to the power 3, it is equal d by dx. Is that equal x for the square root lay y, which is 16 x to the power 4? We have to check. And the right hand side should be out in the xp, that 1 by 16 here, sorry. The square root of 1 by 16 x to the power 4 without any chem. 1 by 4 lil x square. And x times 1 by 4 lil x square should be out in a 1 by 4 lil x to the power 3. So, when you substitute the right hand side is equal to left hand side. So, it is a solution. It is a solution for my differential equation. Mm -hmm. Because when I substitute y, with all its derivative on the right hand side or left hand side, I got the both sides are equal. Okay. Fine. Elam. Elam. We have something called the trivial solution. Trivial solution is the solution which is y is equal zero. If that satisfy to my solution differential equation, so this is called the trivial solution. For example, also here in my previous example, also y is equal zero is a solution to dy by dx is equal x for the square root of y because because y prime is equal zero which is equal x for the square root of zero which is equal zero so both sides are equal so this is also y is equal zero here for this differential equation is a trivial solution but we will not look for the trivial solution our course here. Mm -hmm. Any question up to now? Is it clear here? Type. Now we have two types of the solutions. The first type is called explicit solution. The other one is called implicit solution. An explicit will implicit solution. What's the meaning of the explicit solution of my differential equation? Show me an explicit solution here. 
a solution which is depend uh, in which the de dependent variable is expressed solely in terms of the independent variable and constant is said to be explicit i mean the solution y is equal f of x if if my solution written in this form this is called explicit solution i mean you can write down y is in one side and all the constant and x variable in the other side for example this solution here y is equal 1 by 16 x to the power 4 this is explicit solution because you wrote y is a function of x with constant but the implicit solution it is a relation between x and y and you cannot write y is a function of x you cannot write y in one side and uh, all the x and constants in the other side also an implicit solution will give you two or more solutions for example here if i said that x e to the power x y minus sine x y is equal zero this one here you cannot separate y in one side and all the other constant and variable x in one side. So this is implicit solution. Also, we have another case. For example, if you say that x squared plus y squared is equal 1, here, when you find out why it will be positive negative square root of 1 minus x square. So you've got here two solutions. One of them positive, the other negative. So your original solution here is implicit solution. Is implicit solution. Is it clear what's the meaning of uh, explicit solution and implicit solution? Yes, Doctor. Right. It's just to see how we can clarify the explicit solution and the implicit solution here we will go back to calculus one again he said verify that y is equal x e to the power x is an explicit solution for this differential equation in this interval a differential equation contains y w prime minus y prime plus y here y is equal x e to the power x now you need to find y prime and y w prime y prime عبارة عن ايش؟ الأول في مشتقة الثاني here you have to use a product x e x زائد الثاني في مشتقة الأول alright هلا y double prime y double prime is equal again x e x plus e x plus the derivative of e x it is e x which is uh, e x times x plus 2 here this is becomes e x times x plus 1 now right hand side is equal 0 which is this part here now left hand side is equal y w prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal now substitute y w prime 
which is EX, X EX plus 2 EX. Minus 2 times Y prime, which is X EX plus uh, EX. A plus Y, my original solution, which is X EX. Now, is that equal to the right hand side zero? Now let us just simplify the left hand side. I have seen another x e x plus two e x minus two x e x minus two e x plus x e x. It has to cancel. I have two e x cancel minus two e x. Hello, minus 2 times x e x with this one will go so that becomes what? 0. So y is equal x e x is explicit solution. Mm -hmm. Is it clear here? Any question? طب نشوف الآن the implicit solution. How you can verify that the solution is implicit solution? Of course, first of all, have a look here. This solution here, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. This is a relation between x and y and a constant. When you write y, y it becomes positive negative square root of 25 minus x squared. So that gives you two solutions. So this is implicit solution. But how you will show that it is implicit for this differential equation? And to show that this is implicit solution, Just derive the solution implicitly if you get your differential equation, then it is implicit solution. I mean, to show that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 is an implicit solution, I have to, I have to derive this solution implicitly. What's the meaning derived implicitly? Meaning only here, ya shabab. Yalla, let's show. What's the meaning derived implicitly? To derive implicitly, ya shabab. It means you have to derive x with respect x. And for each y, derive it with y and multiply it by dy على dx. 2y times dy by dx. Derivative of 25, 0. Now simplify. 
take two x to the other side becomes two y dy by dx is equal minus two x divide by two y becomes dy by dx is equal minus two x divided by two y which is equal minus x by y that's what we got here we got here when we derived the solution implicitly i've got here dy by dx is equal minus x by y which is my differential equation uh -huh. is it clear how we can how we can show the implicit solution just derive your solution implicitly if you get the same differential equation then it is a solution then we will go to something called the general solution with particular solution or the family of solutions to the family of solutions see you okay when we're solving the differential equation, we usually obtain a solution containing a single arbitrary constant or the parameter C, y. When you integrate unbounded, you have to say something plus C. What does this mean, C, in math? شو مال C هذه بالتكامل الغير محدود؟ it is a constant, I know, but what does this mean? It means the function of the result of your integration is not a single function, but it is a family of functions. Because each time you will change this variable C, you will get a new function. For example, integral del x square la dx, you will say 1 by 3 x cube plus C. This is here not a single function. This is family of functions. Because each time you will replace C, you will get a different function. Mm -hmm. But now, the solution containing the arbitrary constant g x y c is equal zero. This is called one parameter family of solution. I mean, if you take c is equal zero, one by three x cube. You took here c is equal zero. This is one parameter solution. One parameter solution. And some differential equations, when you solve it, you will find that you will use different values of constant c1 and c2 c3 c4 until cn now what's the meaning of particular solution the particular solution is the solution which is free of parameters i mean it has no constant c which means that you will find the values of the constant c type الآن شوفوا هون هذا المثال. The one parameter C uh, parameter family y is equal c x minus x cosine x. This is an explicit solution of the linear equation. This equation here. الآن this is explicit solution. It has a constant c. But if I talk c is equal 0, I will get y is equal minus x cosine x. Which is, I got this one parameter solution. Now, have a look here. When we talk, this is the graph of my solution. This is here, the graphs of y is equal cx minus x cosine x. When we got c is equal 0, you will get the one in red color. When we get any value of C, C is equal 1, 2, or 3, positive C, you will get those graphs. 
you will see they have the same shape. But when you get C negative, also you get it down here in the right hand side, but upper in the left hand side. الآن شوفوا لي هذا المثال. I have the solution y is equal c1 cosine 4t plus c2 sine 4t is a solution of this equation on the interval minus infinity to infinity. الآن those constants c1 and c2 they have a parameters. Now let us to see, let us to see, is it this one is a solution or not solution for this differential equation? Here you have there to y, y is equal c1 cosine 40, c2 sine 40. And the y prime minus 4 c1 sine 4 t plus 4 c2 sine 4 t y w prime you need because you need i need y w prime y w prime is equal minus 16 c1 cosine 4 t plus the, sorry sorry what I have done sign here cosine this is cosine 40 how uh, many minus 16 c2 sine 40 now y w prime plus 16 y is equal minus 16 c1 cosine 40 minus 16 c2 sine 40 plus 16 times y the solution 16 times c1 cosine 40 plus 16 c2 sine 40 which is equal minus 16 c1 cosine for هذا بيروح وهذاك مع ذاك so that becomes zero so y is equal c1 cosine 40 c2 sine 40 this one is general Solution of y w prime plus 16y is equal to zero. Because when I substituted here with these constants c1 and c2, still it is a solution for that one. But now you can take a particular solution. You can say that here some particular. Solution. If you take C any constant, C1 or C2 any constant, it should be you will get a particular solution. For example, if you take y is equal, C1 is equal 1, you will cosine 40. C2 is equal is equal 9. 9 sine 40. Maybe you will get C1 0. You will get 0 times cosine 0. C2 is equal to 3. 3. Sine 40. Here you will get C1, 0. C2 is equal to 3. Uh, maybe you will get C2, 0. And C1, any constant. Y is equal to minus 10. Here you have C1 is equal to minus 10. Or C2 is equal to 0. So you will get infinitely many particular solution from that general solution. 
Mm -hmm. Is it clear up to now what's the meaning? Up to now what we have done, the definition of the differential equation. The, the definition of the differential equation, how we can classify it by type, either ordinary or partial, by order, which is the highest derivative, or by linearity, linear or nonlinear. Then we discussed what's the meaning of the solution and how we can classify the solution to implicit and explicit solution. And we could have the solution, uh, a general solution or a particular solution. That's depend on if we have a parameter C or not. Any question up to now? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, go to the next. Uh, Doctor, assalamu alaikum. وعليك السلام تفضل مش رايح انا ما تستعجلش دكتور لو سمحت تقدر تاخد غياب النهارده بدري بس شويه لان عايز عايز امشي على الجامعه اللي عندي لاب الساعه 3 ونص وانا بعيد عن الجامعه طيب ليش ما تاخذ اللابتوب بتاعك وتضل تروح تحضر المحاضره بالجامعه علشان انا اشتغل براحتي وانت تشتغل براحتك كمان ما كم المحاضره الاخيره انا هرجع للريكوردات بس انا عايز الغياب بس حضور اتندنس شو اسمك؟ عمر جاب الله عمر جاب الله جاب الله طيب خلص متى ما بدك تتوكل على الله وانا بعدين بدي بحضرك هاي بس وانا كمان دكتور عبد الله عبد الله احمد سمعني سمعني دكتور Yes, yes. Allah stop kara. Tell. Then we'll go to the next section, which is the initial value problem. This is a very short section, but it has a very important concept. That sometimes the differential equation it has a condition. It has a condition. Subhanallah, la ilaha illallah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. A condition about initial point which is x naught. This condition it should be if the differential equation from the first order, then you should have a one condition. If the differential equation from the second order, you will have two different conditions. Those conditions are called initial conditions. Initial conditions. But the differential equation with the initial condition, all of them called initial value problem. Now, what's the benefits of those initial conditions? Those initial conditions will help you to find out the constants of your solution, which means they will help you to find out, to find out the particular solution for which satisfying the equation and the condition. For example, Shufuho. We're going to verify that y is equal to Cex is, a, is one parameter solution to the y prime is equal to y, I, uh, where the condition y of 0 is equal to 3. This is both them together called initial value problem. And this is the initial condition. Now, how I will verify? Now, check that y is equal to the constant c e x you need y prime so again it is a c times e x Ilan, is it is it y so that implies c p e x which is y prime is equal c p e x which is equal y so it is a solution but I need to find the constant C. Use that Y of 0, the initial condition is equal to 3. 
So 3 it will be y of 0. Now in your solution here y, substitute x is equal 0. Becomes c, the e to the power 0, which is c times 1, which is c. Therefore, the value of c is equal to 3. Now, now, y is equal c if e x becomes y is equal when you substitute c is equal to 3 3 phi e to the power x which is satisfying that solution and satisfying this differential equation and satisfying this condition so the initial condition will use it to find out the constants c khalina shuf hona this example this is the only example maybe we have he said we know that y is equal c1 cosine 4, that c2 sine 4 is a solution for this from the previous example. Find the solution for the initial value problem. Here, an initial value problem, I gave you two conditions because it is of order two. Now, how I will find those conditions? I will use the initial condition. Elan, first of all, y is equal c1 cosine 40 plus c2 sine 40 is a solution of y w prime plus 16y is equal 0. Elan. Use the first condition. Is equal minus two is equal y of pi over two. That means in your solution, replace each t by pi over two, which is c one cosine pi over two plus c two phi sine pi over two. Hello, how much is sine pi over two? One cosine pi over two. This is zero. So minus 2 is equal C2 times 1, which implies that you know, C2 is equal minus 2, because sine of pi over 2 is equal 1. Now, you need to find C1, but how? By using the second condition. Hello, y prime, ibaran, minus 4, C1 sine 40 plus 4 C2 cosine 40. Now substitute pi over 2 here, which is equal 1. So just say that 1 is equal y prime of pi over 2, which is equal minus 4 C1 sine l pi over 2 plus 4 c2 cosine l4 times pi over 2. Here 4 times. And l1 is equal minus 4. How much is sine 2 pi? It is zero plus four C two cosine two pi is the same as cosine of zero, which is one. Therefore, four C two is equal one, which means C two is equal one by four. But just to Correct this one, I should multiply it by 4. I'm sorry here. And then here in the first equation, minus 2 is equal. 4, 4 is equal C1 cosine 2 pi plus C2 sine 2 pi. Sine 2 pi 0. Cosine of 2 pi 
it is one. And then C1 is equal minus 2. So in this case, by using this equation, you find out C1 and C2. Now replace them in your solution here. Your solution just replace back C1 and C2. C1 is equal minus 2 cosine 4t plus 1 by 4 the sine 4t. This is the solution for this initial value problem. This theorem of the existence, I don't care about it because we're just teaching this on for math students. It's not required from you. It's not an end call. Mm -hmm. Is it clear now what's the meaning of initial value problem? Which means which means the differential equation with initial conditions. Why we need the initial conditions? To find out the constants in my solution. Right? right. Any question up to now? Yes, sir. Uh, the last uh, step on the last step here in the brief and the last exam the last exam the last step i uh, see uh, okay here just to clarify i need one more step here i will write it down here L1 is equal minus 4 C1 sine 2 pi plus 4 C2 cosine 2 pi, which implies that and L1 is equal. Sine 2 pi, it is 0. Or cosine 2 pi, 1. So it becomes 1 is equal, 4 times C2. That means C2 is equal to 1 by 4. All right. Is it clear here? Yes, clear. Okay, let us take an attendance.